the Vikings are ready to return the kickoff. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. That does it for the first half. Vikings trail in this one. This is the Verizon Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. Let's get ready now to take a look back at the first half. The Vikings are on the bad end of things right now after two quarters. The Seahawks just need to do more of the same as they're continuing to play well after last week's win. Here we go. Let's do this. Here's your first half highlights. Seahawks on second and seven. Lacey's found on the quick pass and catched it. And finally on play 14, they score. Seahawks now on top. They take it at the 33-yard line. Coverage breaks down here, and that connection will lead to a gain of 29 yards. Vikings now later on the drive. Peterson's going to cruise off the right side, and a quick three-play drive ends with the score. The Vikings tie it up at seven. This way through the second quarter. Kaepernick's going to stay inside after the handoff, and he'll run it in from five yards out. The Seahawks go up by eight. Now to late in the second. Here we'll get a pass into the end zone, and he kept off the long drive with a touchdown. The lead grows to 15. So that's all for us at the EA Sports Studio. We'll go back now to the field for the start of the second half. All right, Larry, thank you for all of those updates. And now the teams are coming back onto the field, and we're about to get the second half started. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. And unable to pull off the onside kick, the hands team comes away with the football. What a place to start for the offense. Peterson lines up in the backfield. First and ten. He'll throw it over the middle. And incomplete. And the quarterback, the coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Second and ten. And he's forced to the ground. Good job with his safety getting that sack. I, I, I'll say this. He can tackle, he can cover, and he's showing us he can blitz two and get to the quarterback. Get ready. Three, three. Drop back. Shotgun formation. Has Jackson. They bring him down, and the offense fails to pick up a first down on three plays. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long. They can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The kick in. It's through there. The kick is good. Well, that's how the offense had great field position. They don't take advantage of it, but at least they get three points. Good job by the kicker coming in and getting some points on the board. Vikings getting ready to kick it away. the 28 yard line the Seahawks are getting set for their next possession offense lines up here first down at the 28 picks up the first down well, this tight end is bouncing back. That's a big deal in this league, Phil. And he didn't have a good game last outing, but today, a completely different story. Well, he's such a good player, Jim, that it's hard for him to have two bad games in a row. And so far today, he has been sharp, and the quarterback is putting it right on target. He had no time to get set. Second down coming up. Colin Kaepernick under center. Play action fake. Looking to throw. Off 
the mark here as this throw heads out of bounds. On the way, third down. Colin Kaepernick from the shotgun. Gets it out for the completion. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Creating space and being a big target. That's what we've seen out of this guy today, Phil. No doubt about it. He is a talented tight end. In the NFL, the coaches are doing a better and better job of finding ways to get tight ends more chances to catch the football. And this guy's taking advantage of him so far here today. Still got it after the play action. Got to have a lot of courage to call these type of plays, don't you, Jim? And, and at that time, even though this team is winning, the coach decides to go for it on fourth down. Good play call, and they make it work. First down here after the completion. Colin Kaepernick under center. Looking for some daylight up the middle. Close game right now, partner, and you'll look at the matchup at running back, and neither one of them has really been all that effective. No, Jim, they have not been. I'll say this to the running backs, to the coaches, to the offensive line, everybody. Stay patient, stay with the run game, and I think it will work. Good job by the offense. Another first down. The defense absolutely is getting tired, and when you get tired, you make mistakes. Smith's lined up now as a slot receiver. The Seahawks snap it up at the 26. And he's thrown to the ground after being sacked on first down at second and 16. Offense lines up here. Play fake. Brings it in. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. There's going to be an injury timeout here. We'll take a quick break and be back in just a moment. And welcome back. Danielle Bellini is working on getting us an update on the injury as we return to action. Yeah, Jim, I'm not going to speculate. It looks like a lower body injury. And of course, as always, we hope it's not serious. First and 10. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Lacey takes the hit and is brought down. Taking a look at the rush totals, both these defenses have to be happy with those numbers. Yes, Jim, I'm sure they're happy what they've done. They've made the offense one-dimensional. So when you have an offense that can't run, just think about one thing. And what's that? Go after that quarterback. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. Third down now. Marching down the field and taking their time. Setting up screen. On the money. Tries to ward off a defender with a stiff arm. The Seahawks had a nice play designed that time. It fooled the defense, and they get the pass completion for a nice pickup. in Minneapolis and will return in just a moment. The Seahawks will come to the line trying to put together a scoring drive here in the fourth. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. What a drive this has been. Final quarter underway now with this snap. It's now second down. Mounting a serious drive. Set up screen to Lacey. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. 
Jim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? They're going to run the football, they're going to go with the pass, and if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Breaking huddle at the eight-yard line. The long drive continues. Third and goal from the eight. Keeps it on the play fake. Incomplete. Almost going in the other direction. Big decision for the coach this time, Jim. You fail on third and goal. What do you do? Do you go for it? I say you call the play and you try to put up seven points. Offense is still on the field here. On fourth down, needing eight yards for the first. Play action. Out of the pocket. Got what he wanted. Touchdown. The head coach decides he wants to be the aggressor in this situation. On fourth and goal, he goes for it. Nice play call that time. The Seahawks with the PAT to come. An extra point is good. Kaepernick's going to watch his defense come out here in a moment. He was good for over 70 passing yards on that last touchdown drive. He's put the ball on the tee, and he's about to kick off. Catches it at the two and starts his return. Able to move past the 20 and brought down at the 23. The Vikings now ready to take over as their offense heads onto the field. Jackson's lined up in the slot. Takes it from the gun. Got the completion. Nice tackle. The quarterbacks and receivers in this NFL now are so good. It's so easy for them to throw and catch and just keep picking up those first downs. First down at the 49. Throw to the left. He makes the catch. Number three. Coming up, second down. Offense lines up here. Out of the shotgun formation. The defense gets a sack. Really good job by the defensive coordinator. Good time to call that blitz. Catches the offense by a surprise, and they just outnumber him, and they get to the quarterback, and they take him down. Adrian Peterson is in the backfield. The Vikings have it at the 39. Eyeing that left side. Inaccurate with that one. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third ball, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Vikings have it at the 39. Well, we'll be switching sides with this one. Ball's going the other way. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time they collapse on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. 